Hi there everyone and welcome to the route fly through video for the upcoming North Chilterns 50k. Uh, my name is Chris, I'm the race director. Um, I'm going to take you through the route now on Google Earth and sort of just go through um, where you're going to be going and the different checkpoints and things like that, get you up to speed. Um, so here we go, so this is what the route looks like from a zoomed out level. Now, um, let's go into the start and have a look um, Look at that. So the start location, it's all at um, the Partridge uh, Berry sort of conference center, big, um, big sort of um, area with um, big entrance off this main road here. So you're arriving um, into here um, and then parking is all along this sort of driveway here and into this car park. As you arrive, you will make your way. We'll have this all signposted. So you'll make your way sort of to the back of the building. And uh, we have, um, you can kind of almost see it here. Um, we have this room here, which is our indoor room. So if the weather's not too nice and too kind to us, um, registration and toilets and everything's inside. We also have this patio area and this open grass area. So depending on the weather conditions, we'll either set up the finish on the grass or we'll set it up on the patio. It completely depends on how wet and muzzy it is. Um, so yeah, once you arrive, it's getting yourself in here registered. We'll have some coffee available in the morning and then after the race, there will be um, a bar and um, pizza and things like that being served. A um, couple of things to go through for the start is um, due to um, it's kind of very wiggly and windy and quite narrow trails for this first bit. So what we're going to be doing is actually walking everyone down, um, down these paths together um, about five minutes before the start um, to this main trail here. And the start will actually happen on this main trail. Um, and then that gives um, everyone a bit of an open section at the start rather than creating any bottlenecks. Um, so zooming back out, actually this first sort of start section is um, nice and long, it's like gentle downhill and it's very open and it's sort of on a very old sort of farm track. So it's not, it's sort of, you know, sort of half, half sort of dirt and gravelly, but it's nice and nice and easy to run. So that first section actually um, will stretch out nicely. Um, and then you kind of bear left at this fork and you kind of go out to our first loop, if you like. I think I like to think of this route really as sort of diff three different sections. You've got this section, um, which starts and finishes in Lily. This other section taking you up to um, the, Pegston, the Pegston Hills and then down towards Offaly for the third section. So section one um, goes into Lily. Um, just to say here, you're kind of coming in. There's a couple of road crossings on the route, so nothing, nothing too major. We actually, we're going under that road there. Don't worry, you're not going across four lanes of traffic. So you're going across this road here and then underneath there and out onto this lovely farm truck. There are plenty of occasions where um, you will rub shoulders with uh, different sort of sections of the route. So you'll see here that you're initially going out onto this section, but you will later on be coming back. So there are a couple of sections that will be signed from both directions, but we'll make it super obvious, of course, where you're going. And just to say, actually, you know, all of this will be signposted with all of our signs. So there's nothing to worry about in terms of navigation. We do ask that everyone has access to the GPS file on their phone or watch as, you know, set it up as a trace on your watch. And then you can always have that as a backup just in case you miss a left or right um, or something goes wrong on the day. Um, so out a lily, um, I mean, this initially, if we actually um, Let's go to the route itself and have a look at the elevation profile. So if we have a look at the elevation profile, really predominantly, you know, I mean, this scale is 80 to 180 meters. So it's a little bit undulating, but there's no sort of big climbs on this first section, really until you get um, down into Barton, where you see we've got this first, kind of first big down and big up. Now the first checkpoint at Barton, is at 14.7 kilometers. So let's have a look at that. So you're following this trail all the way through up to Warden Hill. 
And then here you, there'll always be a marshal at these kind of splitting points at the start end of these sort of loops to make sure you go the right way. So you'll be sent this way going, um, going clockwise all the way up to Barton. And then if you know this area, you get some lovely views and then you slowly sort of descend down here into Barton. And our checkpoint itself, um, if I zoom in here, you come down into Barton onto this main um, residential street and then we're going across Arnold Wreck and our checkpoint will be situated just at the open and the entrance point there. Um, straight across Arnold Wreck, past the church, and then sort of looping back. And this is where, you know, on that elevation chart, this is where you're going back up that big hill. So that's your kind of your first big challenge of the day, really, in terms of hills, is climbing back up to here. Then you get up to the top of uh, Barton here, taking a right and sort of closing off this loop. So this is, you know, in some sections it's very exposed, um, but you get some beautiful views and there's some really nice sort of descents to, um, to combat those uphills which will slow you down. So you should still be able to keep a reasonably good pace on that section. As you close that back off, you're coming back into Lily and then you're going out again, so you're not going home yet, you're going back out, really along sort of, you know, again, let's have a look at that profile, along sort of undulating, if anything, slightly downhill trails, until again, just before our checkpoint, um, as you go into Pegston, you descend back down to our checkpoint two. And checkpoint two is located at this lovely pub called The View. Go check it out, go have a beer there, go have some lunch there. Spoke to the landlord, he's a very nice man. They've re, uh, well, they've taken it on over the last couple of years and they've really made it something. It's got some nice accommodation there. Um, didn't have the best reputation before they took hold of it, I believe. So if you went there a few years ago, um, it's changed, it's definitely much better than it used to be, so go check it out. They've been very kind to let us have our checkpoint. So how you get to that checkpoint is you actually leave the trail here onto the pavement and you run along these pavements, turning left into the view car park where we'll have our checkpoint set up. You can as well go into this pub and you can use the loose. And then out the other side and along a few kind of nice field sections before you're looping back. There's a road crossing here, which will have a marshal at, peeling off left. And I think you really can't actually, um, you can't really get the feeling for these trails, you know, through this map. You know, in some ways it looks very open um, and very sort of, it bore, you know, in some ways at that view it looks quite boring because you're going through a lot of fields. But I think as you, you know, you see here, you start to look at some of that elevation and you've got some of these amazing, look at that descent, it's going to be beautiful coming down into that checkpoint. And then obviously, you're going round the other side of it and then kind of closing that loop off. And North Chilterns, of course, is one of these areas that we believe is, you know, a bit neglected in terms of trail running. A lot of people stick to the other side of the Chilterns, which of course is beautiful, but some of these hills and viewpoints are, you know, just as good, if not better, in places. So as you close off that loop, you start making your way down to Offley. And as you come into Offley, um, you start, you know, going through a few different residential areas. This is sort of the, the most sort of um, populated area, I'd say, of the route. And we have our checkpoint here, which is checkpoint three um, at the village hall. So if we go back and have a look at those checkpoints, that second checkpoint, the view was at about 28. You're climbing back up and then you've got um, the last checkpoint at kind of the 37 and a bit mark. Um, so you sort of weaving your way into Offley Village Hall, which is located here. Um, this is, you know, we'll have all the facilities as you'd expect. And then as you come back out, you've got your final loop, which is out onto these lovely footpaths, doing a nice loop into some forests, and then closing that off. And then once you've done that, it really is just a case of sort of making your way back onto this main trail. And you'll probably recognize this at this point. So as you get to around about the 40, 47 and a half, kind of 48 kilometer mark, then you're running back on that same trail as you ran out on. So that last kind of couple of K is just a nice relaxing, I will say a very slight incline on the end, which you'll probably feel at that point. You wouldn't feel at all on fresh legs, very slight incline, but it's, you know, you can just dig in, get those last couple of Ks done. 
And then as you get to where you started from, you'll be taking a right and winding your way through this field. They've actually, you know, this is a little area where they keep bees, I think. Um, and then through, and then you will be greeted um, to the finish line by us um, through the arch. You'll be uh, given a medal, and that, it, that is your day done. That is 50 kilometers. Um, you can relax, you can enjoy um, a beer from the lovely guys at Drink Biddleswaid who's setting up us a proper bar at the finish. So there we go. That is the North Chilterns 50K. Look forward to seeing you down there October the 16th.